graduates amidst pandemic talks about their insights. Cottage owners in Nagoya falls into bankruptcy as an effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. Surprise mo deliver ko, a new and trendy business roams province of Pangasinan. Tourist spot, Linapo Valley Point Tarao, temporarily closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic and rehabilitation. Student from Puzurobio, Pangasinan stands out and serves as an inspiration to the youth during this pandemic. Plants become a common stress reliever for the citizens of Urdaneta. Binalonan Pride Bryant Honor crowned as Mr. Teen Asian International 2021. K-pop boy group Stray Kids turns Deadpool star Ryan Reynolds into a fan after their Deadpool-inspired performance on Mnet's Kingdom Legendary War. Good day Philippines and welcome to the Paddler News. Due to the major impact of this pandemic, Batch 2020-2021 will not experience the traditional graduation. How do they cope up to this change? Let's hear it from the report of Maureen Palesteros. Maureen? This is one of the schools here in La Union. As you can see, it was all quiet. The joy of students coming to school and classroom learning setups are being shut down due to COVID-19 virus. Since there's an eradication of traditional learning system, all of the schools adjusted by the new normal. Education in the Philippines shifted to online schooling and even graduation ceremonies becomes virtual. In response to the government's community quarantine and indefinite suspension of schools across all levels, the Department of Education partnered with Microsoft to start the virtual graduation in a batch solution. The Department of Education has worked to ensure students retain access to learning and education as well as keep the academic experience as much as possible, including its milestones. Through Microsoft Teams, the schools are able to host the graduation ceremonies through the Teams live event feature that allows a maximum of 10,000 users to watch the ceremony anywhere in the world, allowing the students' family members who are abroad or in other parts of the Philippines to participate. So here's Ms. Reyes, a graduate of senior high school, and Mr. Hippolito, a public high school teacher, on their say about virtual graduation. Siyempre malungkot kasi, siyempre mas gusto ko yung usual na graduation, yung makakasama ko yung mga kaklasik ko, katabi ko sila, yung aakit kami isa-isa sa stage, kasama yung magulang namin, tapos isusuot yung medals namin. Pero okay lang, at least we graduate kami. Bilang isang guru, ay, ito ay pagsubok o suliranin. Hindi sa negatibong aspeto, kundi sa kung papaano nga ba matutugunan o papaano nga ba magagampanan ang tungkulin ng mga guru kaugnay ng pagtatapos ng mga mag-aaral. Na alam naman natin na nung tumama ang pandemya, ay isa ito sa mga inisip ng mga mag-aaral. Kung papaano ang kanilang graduation, kung papaano nga ba nila uh, isasagawa. Hindi ito naging madali dahil ang proseso ng pag edit ng videos, mga larawan nila, ng mga award na kanilang tatanggapin, ay kinakailangang isaalang-alang dito. Kung ako ang tatanungin, gusto ko ay aktwal, subalit bilang isang guro na uh, nag-aabide sa kagustuhan din at rekomendasyon ng mga kinauukulan, pipiliin natin ang virtual na graduation. According to you, Secretary Elaine Del Pasqua, it is important to have recognition of achievements and these must be celebrated safely. Even in person or virtual graduation ceremonies, these victories calls for hope amidst pandemic. This has been Marine Balesteros, The Peddler News. Cottage owners continue to experience bankruptcy despite the reopening of beaches in Agoo, La Union. Let's hear the full story from Mara General. Cottage owners continue bankruptcy since the pandemic started. Tourists are still threatened of going to beaches in Nagoo because of the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in low income of cottage owners. According to cottage proprietors, 
Only a few tourists were able to visit Batug Beach in Nagoo, even though it is already open to the public and the government allowed cottage owners to operate. Marami pa kami kita noon. Halos araw-araw may nag-uo pa sa cottage. Pero ngayon, wala na. Nahirapan na kami ngayon. Wala na kami pangbili ng pagkain, mga gamot, gano'n. She added that even on weekends, Almost no tourists can be seen at the beach. Some tourists even say that they are still afraid because of the COVID-19 virus, especially now that it is more getting infectious. This has been Mara Joy Hinerao, The Peddler News. Surprise Mo Delivery Corp, a unique and out-of-the-box new normal business idea. Rooms and delivers fun-filled celebration in the province of Pangasinan. For more information in their report of Hygaling Reyes, Hyga... Last April 2020, at the peak of newly imposed quarantine lockdowns, people weren't able to go to events, places, and celebrate their special occasions. Mr. Inali Gabuat Sr. and his partner Maylin Palavay thought of a unique and out-of-the-box business idea which they call Surprise Mo Deliver Co. Surprise Mo Deliver Co or SMDK is a package that includes accommodations, foods and drinks, person who will host the program and a fully designed decoration in an exclusive vehicle, a Starex van that wanders and rooms different places of Pangasinan, particularly in as far as the Gupan, San Carlos, and Rosales to deliver an exciting package deal celebrations. Yung pakiramdam, hindi mo siya may explain ng maayos. Yung dahil yung pakiramdam is may halong galak, saya, at yung pakiramdam na gusto mo nalang maiyak. At hindi mo rin malaman kung bakit ka umiiyak at hindi mo rin malaman kung bakit ka sumasaya kapag nakikita mo yung sitwasyon nilang ganun. As the business became more popular, certain innovations and improvements were made possible. Now, they also do catering services in nearby places. As the world continued with changes, innovations and compromise were all made feasible. This just proves how creative Filipinos are. This is Haikalin Reyes, The Peddler News, reporting. For public safety and for the improvement of the place, tourist spot Linapo Valley Point Tarao temporarily closes. Full report from Mara General. Tourists from various towns and barangays trapped in Tapau. Children, adults, and hikers enjoyed the new tourist spot. Tapau is known for its simplicity and attractive beauty, for its satisfying view that for sure your jaw will drop and fall in love with the place. According to residents from different near barangays who got to visit the place said that the view was really beautiful and the air was so relaxing. Due to the pandemic, the Linapo Valley Point Papa was temporarily closed because of the threat of the COVID-19. Maganda at nakaka-relax ang tanawi sa Tapaw. Bilang residente, nakaka-proud. Nakikilala ang aming barangay. Ngunit nakalungkot ang kasamantalang pagsara nito. The tourist spot is still closed until now. This is to guarantee the safety of the tourists who want to visit the place and to prevent the spread of the virus. This has been Mara Joy Hinerao, The Peddler News. One student to Surubio, Pangasinan, stands out and serves as an inspiration, an achiever, an altar server, and an online freelance model. For more information in the report of Heikelin Reyes. Cal Chester Abrio is a grade 12 STEM student from Benigno V. Aldana National High School. Along with his ongoing online and modular schooling, he still managed to balance his time to sell earphones, smartphones, and other gadgets online. When his online selling of these gadgets boomed, he was able to save money and later on, he used his earnings to buy and sell motorcycles and bicycles. Siguro yung ma-achieve na lang goals nila sa buhay and huwag sila magpapapekto sa mga pagsubok and sana huwag natin kalimutan na tumulong sa mga nangangailangan in this time of pandemic para sama-sama tayo umangat. Aside from being an entrepreneur, Kyle, who undeniably got a good looks, often joined pageant since he was in grade 3. 
Last 2018, he joined an international pageant where he was crowned as Mr. Britain International First Runner-Up 2018 in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, it was a very humbling experience for me kasi hindi ko alam na may mga na-inspire pala ako sa mga ginagawa ko. And at the same time, it's very fulfilling kasi it was a dream that came true. And now that pageantry temporarily stopped due to the pandemic, Kyle still got online freelance modeling invitations from various brands to promote their products. After his hectic schedule being a student and an online seller at the same time, during Sundays, Kyle is an altar server in St. Jude Tadeus Church in his hometown. Every Sunday, he devoted himself to serve the Lord during the Masses. This amazing life story of Kyle reached the mainstream network where last March 11, 2021, he was featured in Mornings with GMA Regional TV, a morning news show, and he got to share his inspiring story to a wide audience and got to give advices and tricks to his fellow youth. Well, just like any other normal teenage person still go through hard times and get anxious especially this time of pandemic. But by doing recreational activities that he enjoys such as biking and going to a gym for a physical fitness with his friends, he was able to cope up and deal with his anxieties as well. Uh, I do biking sa mga times na wala akong ginagawa kasi biking is one of my way to unwind and refresh. In this time of pandemic, I keep myself productive and gumagawa ako ng mga activities na na-enjoy ko kahit nasa loob lang ako ng bahay. And in this time of pandemic, never ko naisip na mawala ng pag-asa because I'm a very positive person. This has been Haikalin Reyes, The Peddler News. Plantitos and plantitas of Urdaneta Pangasinan talks about their stress relief tactics. Let's hear this story from Christine Seya. One of the struggles of every Filipino right now is to cop boredom and be creative while staying at home. The residents of Santo Domingo, Urdaneta City, had a lot of residents who turned to plants as a stress reliever. And since they love plants, they are called plantitos and plantitas. Bakit niyo po nakahilig ang magtanim ng halaman? Bata pa ako, mahilig na akong magtanim ng halaman. Uh, yun kasi ang kinahiligan ko na mula noon. Dahil nakakatanggal ng stress. Uh, mula sa akin pagkabata talagang mahilig na akong maghalaman hanggang ngayon. Kasi ang halaman nakakatulong bukod sa nakaka-stress reliever, nakakatulong pa sa nakakapagbigay din ng mga pangangailangan sa pang-araw-araw. And then pagka may nabenta. And then nakakapagbigay pa ng, ng kagandahan sa paligid. Bali, ilan na po yung tanim niyo pong halaman? Oh, Kulang-kulang, isang daan na ah. Ngayong pandemic po, ano po yung naitulong sa inyo ng pagtatanim ng halaman? Hmm, nagkakaroon ako ng, ano, ng libangan, siyempre. Kasi hindi ka naman makalabas. Oh, kaya naalagaan kung mabuti yung mga halaman ko. Uh, pampalipas oras, tapos nagbibigay ng stress reliever. Sa pandemic ngayon, Natutunan ko pa yung paggawa ng mga iba't ibang klase ng pots. Yan, para hindi ka nabibili imbis na bumili ka ng mga flower pots sa mga department store, makakagawa ka na ng iba't ibang disenyo. This has been Christine Seya, The Peddler News. For the latest trend, new updates, and fresh chica from The Peddler Star Talk, let's hear it from Jaya Maybada. Fresh, good looking, and talented. That is Brian Honor, a young man that resides in Barangay Mangkasoy, Binalanan, Pangasinan. This young Binalanian was hailed as the Mr. Teen Asian International 2021 on the Singapore-based virtual pageant last March 3.
This native honor was managed by the Maharlikans and was chosen to represent the Philippines after winning the Mr. Teen Pangasinan and Mr. Teen Maharlikans. According to the Facebook post of the management, the candidates for Mr. and Miss Teen International represents their hometown in the international pageantry. The Facebook page of his hometown also shared their warm congratulations and greetings to this pride of Binalanan. Bryant Honor also bragged the minor awards like Mr. Teen Charming, Mr. Social Media Popularity, Mr. Photogenic, Best in Formal Wear, Best in Introduction Video, and Best in National Costume. This has been Rastar Marquez reporting for the Star Talk. Strike and fans were an A frenzy after Ryan Reynolds, aka Deadpool, became a fan overnight after reacting to a stray kiss Deadpool inspired performance in an Eighties Kingdom. Legendary War last Thursday, May 20, 2021. Here is another Star Talk by Rusty R. Mark Reyes. Three kids fans were in frenzy after Ryan Reynolds, also known as Deadpool, became a fan overnight after acting to Stray Kids' Deadpool-inspired performance in MNET's Kingdom, Legendary War, last Thursday, May 20, 2021. Ryan Reynolds replied to an edited video of Stray Kids' Felix in the performance intro along with a clip from a Deadpool movie's opening scene. Interactions came swarming afterwards from Stray Kids leader Bang Chan wearing a Deadpool mask and saying he wanted an autograph during his live stream on VLive to him getting called out for the non-licensed merchandise from the movie franchise but also getting a free pass. Ryan Reynolds himself sending him a real Deadpool mask along with an autographed bottle of Aviation American Gin which Reynolds himself owns and also asking for the leader's autograph, in which the leader fully obliged with a signed album while also apologizing to Hag Jackman, also known as Wolverine, for being the new favorite Australian. As if Deadpool expansion isn't enough, Hag Jackman also joined in on the conversation saying it's alright if he's been replaced and that since Reynolds is now a fan of the fourth generation leaders of K-pop, they have to keep an eye out because he can be too much. Jackman ended his reply with a hi Felix pertaining to the other Australian member of Stray Kids. In the middle of all the cute interactions, Maximum Effort Reynolds Agency changed their Twitter bio to SKZ Stan account and even subscribed to Bangchan's bubble. And as if those weren't enough already, Felix went on Instagram and had cute Instagram star interactions with international DJ producer, songwriter Zed. Hinting a future collaboration. When Stray Kids said world domination, they really meant Stray Kids world domination. This has been Rasta Mark Reyes reporting for the Star Talk. Thank you, JF. That was the news of truth and accuracy from the Pedler News team. We are hoping you are in good condition and also hoping you have a great day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay hydrated, and have a good day. This is the Pedler News.